Shrinky Pinky. Pinky, can you tell me one of your made-up stories? Sure, little brother, Pinky said. What happened to your nose? It ran into Johnny Gelatin's fist today, Tyler said. Sounds like you have a problem on your hands, said Pinky. More like on my nose, Tyler said. Okay, Tyler, I'm going to tell you a story about someone so mean he almost ate Great Big City. Crunch, crunch, chomp. All right. I'll just shut my eyes, wiggle my ears, crank up my imaginations, Pinky said. The name of this story is Shrinky Pinky, made up story by Pinky Dinky Doo. That's stinky. It was a normal day in music class until Miss Wadida told the class a new kid, a girl, was joining them. I wonder what she'll be like, Pinky said. Then the new kid came into the room. Class, Miss Wadida, this is Lane Puppy Tray. She wasn't strange at all. Lane seemed nice. She played the recorder. She could play the pickle barrel polka. Pinky thought Lane was fun and different and exciting. She had climbed Mount Hunky Dory. She had explored the woolly Memoff Caves. She had even visited the sun. Hey, how did she go to the sun without bumping up? She traveled at night. Then one day, Pinky Dinky Doo heard Abby McTabby talking about Lane Puppy Tray. Abby said Lane was bossy. Sometimes he, sometimes she's even mean. In the cafeteria, Pinky saw it for herself. Lane jumped in line in front of her. Things got worse and worse. During the next week, Lane A broke Pinky's favorite pen. B took Pinky's homework, C, stepped on Pinky's new shoes, or D, all of the above. Unfortunately for Pinky, the answer is D, all of the above. Ooh, harsh. Lane is a, what's a word for someone as mean as a warthog with poison hobby? A bully, that's the word. Johnny Jelona said Pinky had made had to make Lane stop picking on her. She trudged home after school. She looked at Mr. Guinea Pig. He was lucky. He's so small, Pinky said. A bully wouldn't even notice him. Then Pinky had an idea. Maybe I can shrink myself down to the size of Mr. Guinea Pig. If Lane can't see me, she can't pick on me. But how could Pinky make herself shrink? She put a heavy book on her head, but that just smashed down her hair. She tried the old put your shoes on your knees trick. Your knees go in a big pair of your dad's shoes, hide legs in her chair. Kids, try this at home, but it was hard to get around that way. Slide at school playground. <laughs> Then Pinky remembered one time when Daddy Do did the laundry. He wa he washed her dress in hot water and dried it too long. It shrank to a tiny size. So Pinky hopped in the shower, clothes and all. Then she stood under the heater. Pinky felt herself getting smaller. She shrank and shrank and shrank. It worked, Pinky said in a tiny voice. Would be tiny keep Lane from bugging her. Then Pinky had the best idea. She climbed inside Mr. Guinea Pig's exercise ball and rolled over to Lane's house. Lane was hanging around reading a magazine. Use your finger to try to find the way. Pinky got out of the ball. Yoo hoo, Lane, I'm down here, she shouted. Yoo hoo. But Lane never saw her. Being little is great, Pinky said. She wanted to tell someone about it. P 
Pinky rolled home and went to find Mr. Guinea Pig. Pinky got into Mr. Guinea Pig's cage. She peeked inside his box. Wowee! Mr. Guinea Pig had a nice pad. A fire was burning in the fireplace. There was music playing that made Pinky feel like dancing. Mr. Guinea Pig came out of the kitchen. He offered Pinky some lemonade. Chain. Then Pinky told him about her problem with Wayne. I need to think big, said Mr. G. I didn't know you can talk, Pinky said. I talk all the time, he said. You just can't hear me. Mr. Guinea Pig began to think. Normally, Mr. G had an everyday guinea pig-sized brain, but not when he decided to think big. He thought and thought and thought, and his little guinea pig brain got bigger and bigger until his head filled up the whole room. Then it happened. Wow, there's a lot going on in here. Dane, Mr. Guinea Pig had a big idea. Wow, that's a big idea for a little guinea pig. I know what you can do, Mr. Guinea Pig said. You can A. Peel grapes for me and rub my toes. B. Shrink even more and join the flea circus. Or C. Become big Pinky again and really figure this thing out. Pinky knew the answer was C, of course. Mr. Guinea Pig had another big idea. He scanned Pinky in large shirt and normal size. Pinky was back to her old self. She realized something important. I have great friends like Mr. Guinea Pig and Daphne and Nicholas, said Pinky. So if Wayne wants to be my friend, she'll have to act like one. So what happened? Yeah, what? Once Wayne figured out she couldn't boss me around, I was much happier and she got nicer eventually. And that's exactly what happened. Pretty much the end. Poof. Hey, said Tyler, what happened to the mean person who almost ate Great Big City? Oh yeah, Pinky said. Then there was some other guy who almost ate Great Big City. The end. Tyler hit Pinky with a pillow. Tyler, are you being a bully? Pinky asked. I'm just being a little brother, he said. In that case, said Pinky, fight. I bet you can make up a story too.